I followed the Bulldogs when I was a kid, so to be able to uh, remember coming down to Whitten Oval um, as, a, as a youngster and, and watch, uh, watch a few games and, and then later uh, end up running out here for Footscray um, was, yeah, was, was great for me. Yeah, as a playing group, playing under the Footscray name has been huge for us. Um, you know, it's our club and it's, uh, yeah, it's great for us to run out there in the jumper every week. Yeah, it was a fantastic opportunity to come to the Western Bulldogs, uh, to embark on my, uh, on my professional working life after my sporting career and look, they've embraced me and um, the Footscray Bulldogs has been a big part of my transition into that and obviously it's been a team effort from right across the club, but to um, break away from the alignment with Williamstown, while that there was a lot of benefits in that. Um, we, we saw for the development of our young AFL players that having our own VFL side was, was the way to go. Bulldogs have the numbers. Grant got it to Greenwood and now Campbell. You don't like to give Roman too much time to think about things traditionally, but he might have set this up okay for Red Path at the back goal. Yeah. Look, there were some strategic decisions made along the way, some priorities being to, to win the West and to obviously um, bring suburban football and VFL football back to Witten Oval. Um, but the key was to, to develop our younger AFL players and, and sitting here today um, talking about finals football wasn't necessarily on the radar. So it's a credit to all those people. Jared Grant drives it long. Campbell against a smaller opponent takes the mark. Oh, certainly um, you know, playing VFL footy this year has really helped me build my confidence and, and, my, and my craft as a, as a big man uh, to go into the AFL and, and start to have a little bit of an impact. So, um, yeah, that's been a really great thing for me this year. So Tom Campbell drives it through. That's his first for the day. We just want to see development and um, guys are going about it the right way, the, the Bulldogs way. Um, I think we'll see success off the back of that. So. There's no doubt about it that we're out there to win every game. Oh, Hartung takes on Smith, gone, holding the ball. Clay Smith is a battering ram on the footy field. The great thing about playing together in the VFL is that we know we're going to play a lot of footy together for a long time, so to develop this continuity in our performance is you know, something that's really important to us. It's great stuff from Young, creative hand pass, now a chance for Jong on the run, he's found a teammate in the goal square. Plays on, curls at home, easy goal for Jack Redpath. Obviously the AFL team you know, didn't have the greatest year, um, but for us to, to be having this winning culture in, in the VFL is really important, especially for our younger guys. Alex sprints away from them, uses that left foot to the advantage side. Honeychurch could seal it with his fifth. It has been a true team effort, but again, really excited to be talking about Footscray playing finals again. John was terrific, they're going forward in numbers. They've got a one and one here, Honeychurch in a panic. We did take some confidence out of the win earlier in the year. We have got a healthy list, uh, so I'm looking forward to a fierce contest, it's finals footy. Um, it's a great venue, North Port Oval, so hopefully it's a, it's, it's a great matchup and a good game.